we ended up getting four pint sized jars of lard out of that one bag. So today I thought we would just go ahead and we'd start rendering some of our lard. I got one out of the three bags here. We're gonna chop this up and we're gonna render it down in the crock pot. I'm gonna take you guys along as we do it. So what we're gonna need today, we're gonna need some lard, our crock pot, and we're gonna need a quarter of a cup of water. Put it in the crock pot. The reason for the quarter cup of water is just so you don't have to worry about burning the lard on the bottom of the crock pot and the water will evaporate while we're rendering down the fat. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and get a cutting board. A knife. I'm gonna need a knife. Then I'm just gonna start cutting up the lard into small pieces. You don't have to worry if your lard's been in the freezer, only been out for about 10 minutes, and it's already soft enough to cut it. So you don't gotta worry about taking the lard, the fat, whatever you wanna call it at this point, out of the freezer for too long before you decide to cut it up. And the smaller, the smaller chunks you get it cut into, the quicker it's gonna render down. You can also grind it up if you wanna grind it. We don't have a grinder, so we're just gonna chop it into little pieces and stick it in the crock pot. We're gonna do only this one bag, a third. We cut up one freezer bag of the pork fat that we had. And that's, a, I don't know, it's probably two thirds to three quarters full of it. This is an eight gallon crock pot. So it'll be interesting to see how much lard we end up actually getting out of this once it's all rendered. So we're gonna let this sit. They say it should take about an hour before it starts melting and then keep stirring it and we should be all said and done in an hour and a half. I don't know if I believe that or not. It's 2.01 now, so hopefully I remember to look and report back and let you know how long it actually took. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on it. I got a few other things I gotta do around the homestead here. I'll keep an eye on this and I'll get back to you guys and we'll stir it up and we'll record the rest of it. Got the apron on today. I don't, it's, you know, it's kind of like working with baking grease. I don't want to get it all over my clothes and ruin it. So an apron is probably not a bad idea to have on. If you guys missed the video, me talking a little bit more about lard. The name of that video is all about lard. I'll put a card right here so you guys can click and you can go over and watch the video where I talk a little bit more about lard. So it's 3.06, it's been just over an hour. I'm gonna take a peek and see how the fat is rendering down for us. So it's starting to melt a little bit. Let's see if we stir it up as we can see. Yep, down there in the bottom, you can see a little bit of liquid starting to form. You can hear it too. So I'm gonna put the lid back on it and let the magic happen. So it's been about three hours now. It's not quite done. It's gonna take a little bit more time. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like at this point. So it's doing pretty good. It's probably got like a quarter of the way left to go. Taking a little bit longer than expected, but that's all right. It was white when we started and now it's kind of a clear color. So when you're all said and done, this is what you're gonna have left over. So now once you've got it all rendered down, you're gonna need some cheesecloth, strainer, and a stainless steel bowl. You're also gonna need to have your mason jars handy. I'm just gonna be using pint sized ones with a wide mouth so that way you can get a knife in there, a spoon in there, and you can actually clean around the edges pretty good and get most of it out of here when, it's, when you're all done using it. Now we just gotta be careful because this is gonna be extremely hot. Go ahead and we're just gonna strain it out.
And now we've got a nice full bowl of some nice rendered pork lard. Now we'll set aside and save all the little bits and pieces, but we'll cook those up later on and that's gonna be crackling. We're gonna be making a video later on making cracklings with the leftovers, so subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. I'm just gonna be using my canning jar funnel to hopefully keep from making a mess when pouring this in. We ended up getting four pint jars of rendered lard out of that one bag of pork fat we had. We have roughly 12 pounds, so I'm gonna say we had, we've got three bags. There's about four pounds in that bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say it's about a pound to make a pint of the, of the rendered lard. So not too bad. I'm gonna let it sit here in the counter, cool down a bit before I cover it. Then once it's all cooled down and it's back to its solid state, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the lids on it and I'm gonna store it in a cool, dry place in the basement. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if you want to see the video on making crackling. We're going to be doing that next time. So comments down below if you liked it. Let me know what you thought and if you guys have ever used it. Getting, we're getting one step closer now to making soap with the lard and cooking with it. So I'm pretty excited here. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. Oh yeah, and don't forget, we're over on Instagram at Lumna Acres. We're posting a photo a day over there. <clears throat> we also got a Facebook page, Lumna Acres on Facebook. We'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.